duck, duck, goose. Goose stood very still. Just wait until duck gets a look at this butterfly, he thought. Bluebird, have you seen duck? Goose quacked. Yes, here he comes, and he's not alone. Duck raced his new friend Thistle across the meadow. Wow, you sure are fast, he called after her. I sure am. I'm the fastest duck in the world, she quacked. Just wait until Goose meets Thistle, Duck thought. Suddenly, Duck and Thistle burst through the tall grass, frightening away the butterfly on Goose's head. You missed it, Duck, honked Goose. A butterfly was sitting on my head. Are you sure it wasn't a moth? Thistle quacked. Oh yes, I'm sure, little Duck, Goose said. I'm not little, Thistle hollered. Goose, this is Thistle, Duck said. Nice to meet you, Thistle, Goose honked. How long is she staying, he whispered to Duck. Forever, said Duck happily. She just moved here. Once three butterflies landed on my head at the same time, Thistle boasted. Three? Isn't Thistle amazing, Goose? Duck quacked. That's two more butterflies than you had. I know, I can add, mumbled Goose. I'm really good at math, too, exclaimed Thistle. I'm probably the best. Six plus three is nine. Thistle quacked and splashed a puddle. Splash! Five plus five is ten. Splash! Three plus two plus six is eleven, Thistle screamed. Now it's your turn, Goose. I can't do math when I'm being splashed, sputtered Goose. Could we please play something else? I can hold my breath practically forever, boasted Thistle. Can you, Goose? Do I have to? Come on, it'll be fun, quacked Duck. I'll time you. Fine, said Goose, and he and Thistle each took a big breath. Duck counted. One hippopotamus, two hippopotamus, all the way to eleven when Goose collapsed. I win, said Thistle. Wow, I bet you really could have lasted forever, exclaimed Duck. I'd like to see her try, groaned Goose. So, what else do you do around here for fun, quacked Thistle. Duck looked at Goose. We play, he said. I bet I'll win, Thistle quacked. We run around or kick our ball, said Goose. There is no winning. Then why bother, said Thistle. Last one to the top of the hill is a rotten egg, and off she ran. Come on, Goose, Duck quacked. Can't we just watch the clouds instead, honked Goose. But Thistle and Duck were too far ahead to hear him. At the bottom of the hill, Goose moaned. Can't we just stand on our heads, Thistle interrupted. Yes. But first, let's have a hop on one foot match, a walk across a log challenge, a balance a stick on your head contest, and a jump over a bush race. When it was time to stand on their heads, Goose had had enough. I'd rather look for butterflies, he said to himself. On your marks, get set, Thistle quacked. Ready, Goose? But Goose was nowhere in sight. Time me, okay, Duck, said Thistle. Duck sighed. Sure. One hippopotamus. Did Goose say where he was going? Two hippopotamus. Do you think he'll come back? Three hippopotamus. Should we go look for him? Who? squawked Thistle. Goose, squawked Duck. Oh, he was going to lose anyway. Now, let's see if I can beat my own record. Keep counting. By six hippopotamus, Duck had had enough. Hey, keep counting, cried Thistle as Duck headed off into the tall grass. Duck looked for Goose in all their favorite places, but the lily pond was empty. The shady thicket was dark and quiet, and the riverbank felt lonely. Duck called out to his friend, Goose! But his cry was muffled by the gurgle of the river. At last, Duck hung his head and sat down by their favorite bush. Oh, Goose, where are you? He said, wishing his friend could hear him. 
from behind the bush came a familiar honk. Goose? Duck called. Duck, answered Goose. Goose, where have you been? Goose sighed. I don't like to stand on my head. Actually, I don't either, agreed Duck, and holding my breath too long makes me dizzy. Me too, said Duck, and walking across a log scares me. I thought you did a great job, Duck quacked, but this'll one every time, Goose said. Duck nodded. I think she's had lots of practice. Hopping on one foot is fun for a while, said Goose, but sometimes I like to sit and smell the flowers. Or listen to the river, Duck added, or feel a warm breeze, said Goose, or look for butterflies, quacked Duck, or kick the ball around the meadow, honked Goose. Good idea, agreed Duck. Suddenly, Thistle appeared. Wow, you are good hider, she quacked, and you're a good finder, said Goose. What should we do now, asked Thistle. I think it's time for a nap, Goose said. Duck pretended to yawn. I bet I can fall asleep faster than anyone. Not faster than me, Goose said. I'm the fastest faller asleeper ever, Thistle bragged. Okay, said Goose. Whoever falls asleep first is the all-time best, Duck quacked. Champion napper, Goose honked. In the whole wide world, shouted Thistle. And luckily for Duck and Goose, Thistle was.